missing a touch of something. Okay, grammatical explanation, guys. It clefting. And what is it clefting? What is the typical grammatical structure for it clefting? It clefting. So typical C1 structure. What is the typical structure in terms of grammar? In terms of grammar, this is the formula. It. After it, the verb to be in the present simple. Could be is, or it could be also in the past. Was. Is or was. That is the second part. And then, after that, the focus of attention. Focus. Focus of attention. What was the focus of attention in the, in the previous sentence? The one I wrote before? Myself. So, in the previous example, it was myself. But it could be any other thing. Yeah? The focus of attention. And then, after the focus of attention, you have a relative clause. Yeah? A relative. A relative clause. The relative clause, remember, what is a relative clause? That's starting with that, which, who, where, etc. Yeah? A relative clause. A defining relative clause giving essential information. Yeah? Relative clause. So this is the grammatical formula. Yeah? This is the grammatical formula. It. Verb to be. Focus of attention. Relative clause. So far so good? And what is the purpose? I already told you what the purpose. What the purpose is to emphasize a part of a sentence. Yep. Emphasize a part of a sentence. To emphasize a part of a sentence. In the example I gave you before, the emphasis was on myself. Could be any other thing. Okay, this is the introduction to the explanation. Whenever you give me green light, I will proceed and uh, erase this precious information. Green light? Green light. Okay, I'm going to give you some sentences, and then I want you to transform them for me into an it clefting sentence. Okay, sentence. <sighs> Lena. This is a German name, Lena, Lena. Lena uh, took the decision. Okay, here Lena is in the first position, it's quite emphasized, but then I want to give more emphasis to Lena. I want to give emphasis on the person, okay? Focus on the person. How can I increase the focus on this person? Here, it's in the first position, so it already has quite some emphasis, but I want to emphasize it even more. What is the formula? Very good, give it to me. It was Lena who took the decision again. Have a look, this is the formula. It, then the verb to be. Then, what is this? The focus of attention. And what is this? A relative clause. And uh, the focus of attention in this example is a person. Hmm? A person. This is one of the type of it clefting, one of the types. May I erase this? Okay, give me another one. I'm going to give you another sentence, another example. Oh, she's talking on Monday. told him on Monday. Okay, now what I want to emphasize is uh, on Monday. What is on Monday? Time. Let's emphasize time. Okay, the first element is always it. Yeah? What is the second element? The verb to be. In this case, it's in the past because of thought, so it was. Now, the element of focus is the time. We want to emphasize the time. The element of focus? It was on Monday. And now what do we need? The relative. The relative clause. When. Very good. Very good. When is a possible relative pronoun? I would also accept that. Okay? 
And then the rest, she told him. Again, it, first element, was the verb to be. On Monday, this is the element of focus. And what is the element of focus this time? Time. And then, the relative, the relative clause. So we can use time as an element of focus. It was on Monday, it was on Tuesday, it was in 2020, it was yesterday, it was last week. Yeah? May I erase this? Time. I think somebody said, no, wait. Was it my imagination? Or was, did really somebody say, no, wait? No, yeah? <laughs> okay, another one. She told him... She told him in the village. She told him in the village. Again, I want to emphasize in the village. What is in the village? A place. Again, typical structure, starting always with it. It was in the village. Very good. Now you can choose where. Where is a perfect candidate, relative pronoun. Because we're talking about a place, or you can also say that. Yeah. It was in the village that she told him. Again, it, as usual, the verb to be. And then, in the village, this is the element of focus. In this case, the element of focus is referring to a place. I don't even ask you, you know, I just... I just erase it. Another sentence. Okay, he was affected. You know, the sentences that the examples that come to my mind, they say that the examples that you write are a reflection of your personality, somehow. These are the examples that come to my mind. He was affected. <laughs> he was affected uh, because of the way. Because of the way she told him. He's a very sensitive guy, you know. He was affected because of the way she told him. Okay, now what I want to emphasize in the it cleft sentence is a thing or idea. The way she told him. Okay, this is an idea, yeah? This is an idea, a thing, yeah? A manner. Yeah, an idea, a thing, a manner. In this case, it's the manner, yeah, the way. I want to emphasize this, yeah? How would the it sentence would be? It was... It was the way she told him, yeah. It was the way she told him. It was the way she told him. It was the way she told him. And then the relative clause? That... That he was affected. It sounds a bit weird, yeah? That affected him. That affected him. Yeah, in this case, I would say affected him. Yeah? And it could be, it was because of the way she told him that he was affected. That, was that is totally acceptable. That is the, the next type I'm going to explain. But yeah, it was, it was because of, because of the way she told him and then and then yeah then it would make sense the the other um, relative sentence that you told me that he was affected do you see the difference affected here the relative sentence you can say that he was affected you have the subject and then the verb yeah that he was affected so, in this one, what do we have? It. Then, the verb to be. Was. Then, the element of focus. The way she told him. This is the element of focus here. Yeah? The element of focus. What is the element of focus in this sentence? An idea, a thing, a manner. And then, that affected him. The relative, uh, the relative clause. 
The other way that, uh, that uh, Coral proposed, this is a clause with because. It was because of the way she told him, yeah, because of the way she told him that he was affected. This is an element of focus, that's fine. This is an, an element of focus with because of. Another possibility which is perfectly okay. When you use because of, then the relative sentence, the relative clause is li a little bit different than this one. That affected him, que le afecto, that he was affected. Yeah? So far so good? Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, examples more. May I raise this? Okay, a clause with two plus infinitive. Have a look at this. She told him the news in order to move on. In order to move on. In order to move on. Have a look at this. In order to move on. Now, what I want to emphasize is a clause with two plus infinitive. How would you convert this into an it cleft sentences? Again, it, and then the verb to be, it was, and now the element of emphasis, I want you to give it to me with two plus infinitive. Two plus infinitive. Two plus infinitive as the focus. Say it, say it, say the full sentence, please. To move on. This is the element of focus expressed with two plus infinitive. Yeah? It was to move on. And then the relative pronoun, finish the sentence, please, Steph. It was to move on that she told him the news. Very good. That she told him the news. Can you repeat that? Yes, you can. It was to move on. No. Why should... It was to move on that way he told him. That's why he told him to move on. No. It was to move on why? No. It was to move on that she told him to... That she told him the news. No. Why did she tell him? He... She told him because... No. That's the reason why. The other, the only situation in which you can use why, Irene, uh, that comes to my mind right now. Why did he tell? That was why. That's why he told him. Yes, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Yes, that's why she told him. In this sentence, it sounds good to me. That's why. Eso es el porqué. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why she told him. In this case but not in that one. Okay, uh, one more. So far so good? Just one more. So remember, two plus infinitive, to move on in order to express a finality. Yeah, a finality, in order to, to move on. And then the last example. The last example. Let me give you the first sentence. He didn't realize about the truth until later. Until, let's say, one year later. Until one year later. Again, I want to emphasize uh, until one year later until one year later. This is the focus of attention. I want you to give it to me with a clause with until. Yeah? It wasn't. It wasn't. A negative one. Yeah? It wasn't. Give it a try. Um, it wasn't until one year later that he didn't realize about it. That he realized yeah, about the truth. So what do we have here? 
we have here it, then we have the verb to be, but in this case negated. It wasn't until no fue hasta que, yeah? No fue hasta que. It wasn't until, no fue hasta que pasó un año. It wasn't until. And then what do we have here? Until one year later. This is the element of focus, and this is a clause with until. Yeah? Focus. A clause with until. Yeah? This is another possibility. A uh, slightly more difficult one. It wasn't until one year later. It wasn't until one week later. It wasn't until ten years later that blah, 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 blah. Yeah? This is the end of the explanation. So far, so good? Okay. Still a few minutes before I give you the exams.